As its name suggests, the killer whale is fabled for its ferocity. Stories about killer whale packs smashing through boats are common. Every precaution imaginable was taken to make sure that the killer whale, said to be the largest of its species in captivity, arrived safely in Australia after its 30-hour flight from Seattle in the United States. After all, when you've paid $20,000 for the animal, $12,000 to fly it here from the United States, what's a few more thousand to make sure it's got some of the comforts of home? <coughs> Um, certainly if the Australian public react like the public do in America, we are on the sure thing. See, it may interest you to learn that just a few moments ago he started eating and he took a, a couple of uh, herring that had been brought over from the United States in the aircraft. And uh, no, I would say in the matter of a few days he'll be coming up to a platform and accepting food right out of our hands. And then uh, I would say in a month's time he'll be leaving completely out, out of the water to accept food. Right now he's having a great deal of difficulty in settling down in his new environment. He was removed from water of around 4 degrees Fahrenheit and air temperatures of 50 degrees and he's been brought down to what is literally a tropical environment. He's getting a, having an awful job to settle down. He's being treated with antibiotics injected in a massive 40 cc dose after the pool's been partially drained to render him immobile. It won't take long, I'd say another three or four months and he'll be a fully uh, a happy Australian. <laughs> well, I had a whale in California who became a manic depressive and uh, he became quite psychotic, in fact, and initially uh, attempted to uh, attack the female whales that lived in the same pool with him, and we finally went on to a hunger strike, and we kept him alive for over a month by force feeding. What are the eventually, uh, we gave him human psychotherapeutics, and the human psychotherapeutic worked beautifully, and he became quite normal again after a course of these drugs. Physiological examination of the killer whale's brain reveals a complexity greater than that of the human brain and those details supposed to indicate intelligence. Perhaps if evolution had taken a different twist, human beings might now be performing tricks for the entertainment of an audience of killer whales and dolphins.